Alrighty, you guys, you know exactly what time it is. It's finally time to get this front clip on our 68 Charger. We've got quite a bit of work to do, just uh, weld repairs on this front clip before we get it onto the car. But just to bring you up to speed so far, both the front clip and also the firewall have been repaired. They've been blasted, they've been epoxied. The firewall we just wire wheeled off, got it all back down to metal and then uh, epoxied that. Um, that was in our the last video. But uh, we do have a number of different repairs that we're gonna have to do on this front clip. The first of which, I know I've mentioned it a few times, this upper support brace was drilled out previously. You can still see some of the leftover metal um, from where it was attached at previously to that cowl. But uh, we're gonna fix this up. You can see, still see exactly where it was mounted at, all the holes line up, so that should be easy to do. Um, I do have one hole right here in the upper frame rail. We're gonna fix that. You can see here, this inner fender brace is popped off. But you can see where the, all the old spot welds were. I'm gonna flatten this out. We're gonna attach it to that frame rail and, uh, and weld that back into place. Uh, the Vintag, we're gonna do this eventually. Um, it doesn't need to be done right now. I do have one more hole down there. We're gonna drill that out, or clean that out, excuse me, and, uh, and fix that. And then we've also got um, just a couple little things here, straightening out all of our weld surfaces. Anywhere that this front clip is gonna to mount to that firewall really needs to be straight, so that way it all matches up real nice. Got a little crazy with that grinding wheel again, so gonna fix that up. Um, but uh, but no, it's in pretty good shape. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with how this and the firewall have turned out. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera. I'm gonna get the welder fired up. We're gonna make these repairs and finally wheel this thing inside and attach it to the car. So let's get it done.
Alrighty, you guys, with that, all of our weld repairs are done. So let's go ahead and review everything that I did. Cleaned up all of our weld spots here where we're gonna weld to our upper cowl. Um, cleaned up all along here on this inner uh, fender support. Also cleaned up on the back side so that way we have good um, you know, raw metal to, uh, to weld to. Same thing with here. Also on the inside of this torsion support has also been opened up. Uh, filled our hole down here, put a nice little patch in there. You can't even see where it was. Uh, same thing here with this upper um, portion of the, uh, the frame rail here. That patch went in really, really nice too. So um, this piece also went in really good too. Um, you can see here how there's a gap. And so this uh, piece right here of the upper cowl actually sandwiches in between these two here. It gets welded from the top and also welded in from the bottom. So this is where the fun begins. Um, it is on this Eastwood body cart, which I love. It's going to make it a whole lot easier so that way it can hold it for me. I can adjust these feet here on each side of it so that way I can bring it up, bring it down um, as needed. I think where my issue is going to be right off the bat here is going to be getting this torsion support basically up on top of the rockers. So I may need to actually bring the back side off of the body cart, kind of scoot it across the floor and then put it up one side at a time. Uh, as you can see, I have zero help out here today. So this is all on me. Uh, T-Bone's even at school today. He's not even here. So um, yeah. So I'm going to game plan this a little bit. We're going to have to move some jacks around. We're going to have to get um, just some, uh, some jacks underneath the car, mess around with it a little bit, but move this front clip underneath the, uh, the car here, get it into position, and then get ready to take some measurements and uh, stick it together. So let's, uh, let's get it up underneath the car.
Alrighty, you guys, just about dark here. And uh, as you can see, we do have a car. Um, well, at least what looks like a car again. I would have made this video about 15 minutes sooner had I not just kept stopping and looking at it from different angles. It looks fantastic. I've always loved these cars and I'm so excited to finally own one and actually see it going back together now is a pretty awesome feeling. Um, so we do have the front clip just screwed into place right now as you saw. Wanted to do that because with this being a unibody, you know, you don't want to shove a front clip up onto it weld it in place without actually test fitting all the panels make sure that your gaps are relatively close there's a ton of room for adjustment on each one of these fenders i think each fender has about 13 fasteners on it um, that you can adjust and and move things around to kind of fine tune the panels once you get closer to body work um, but looking at ours i mean the gaps are super tight already i'm pretty pleased with this you can see here along the cowl that all turned out really really nice um, you know, of course, we still got to get our new door hinges on it that we already have and then also with uh, with our doors and get those back up here. But I don't suspect or foresee any issues with that. Um, looking here on the other side, you know, this gap is a little bit bigger here. We're going to fix this. This fender's only got about two fasteners in it right now. So we can pull this, suck it in and also move this hood a little bit more here. You can see this hinge right here also needs to be adjusted. But again, I was just kind of trying to do a, a rough mock up looking at all of our gaps you can see here you know this thing can still move a lot as well so just a rough uh rough fit up make sure there was nothing too crazy that was off with this um but uh but no it all turned out really really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off here in the next video we will be welding the front clip into place getting these panels a little bit more permanently onto the car and then uh, i'm also going to be sharing some pretty significant news uh, both personal and also for the channel um, big changes are upcoming um, for us and uh in the car and uh you know us living in ohio so stay tuned for that um, if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram and and uh you know watch our progress there but uh take care guys and uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time